the media has anything to go by or trust, uh, the procurement process has started for 2,500 megawatts of nuclear energy for South Africa. Now they are saying or claiming that this will come online in uh, 2033 and 2034 after saying that it will take 10 to 15 years to build. Now we haven't started building anything yet, it's 2023 now, so the math just doesn't add up. So I don't really trust the time frames that I do see or whether this will actually get off the ground. Now we have wanted to um, build new nuclear power stations a long time ago, specifically within Eskom and Nuclear One was an example of that where many people were skilled up to be able to run Nuclear One and they had to be absorbed into the organization and many of them left. So lots of skills lost again. Sites were identified, prepared, etc. And um, Kubik Nuclear Power Station, uh, the site was uh, authorized for the building of another twin pack or two uh, nuclear power station units as well as Tastepunt. And uh, it'll probably take place at one of these sites if it goes ahead. But the environmental groups are up in arms already saying that they don't think that all the processes have been followed and I'm not going to get involved in that. All I know is that this is too little too late. Uh, we were supposed to do this a long time ago. So if they say that we're going to need this uh, for our power supply by a certain time, uh, that is what I call BS on because we needed it a long time ago. We needed this uh, stable base uh, base load capable power supply and we don't have it we only have cubic nuclear power station that's going through uh, refurbishment now for its long-term operation so that they uh, can extend the plant's license by another 20 years and maybe even a further 20 beyond that so that is ongoing right now we need new generation capacity we are at the moment struggling to get 24,000 megawatts onto the grid. We used to supply up to 36,000 megawatts in 2002, 2003, 2004. Those were the totals that we used to put out. And our economy has shrunk because we cannot supply what we need to. Many companies withdrew from the country because of it. So it is just obvious common sense that we do need to build nuclear and a lot of people will attack it and say that it is too expensive. This is just not true. Kubik, Kubik has proved this. Kubik is the cheapest nuclear power station on the grid. In the long run, nuclear is the cheapest and the cleanest by far. And this is proven worldwide. We just need to make sure that it's got proper oversight and that the nuclear power stations can be run safely. So watch your space. I'll keep you updated with regards to the developments of the procurement of the 2500 megawatts of new nuclear which will include two big units as well as space for small modular reactors. Till later.